One of the teens accused of murdering a local bartender six months ago is out of jail and has been for weeks. But the victim's family says they were left in the dark and no one ever warned them about it. News 13's Lizzie Mitri spoke with them tonight outside the bar where Steve Garrick worked. Family and friends gathered here at Spectators at Eubank and Wantabo, lighting candles for Steve Garrick and speaking out against what they say is a judicial system re-victimizing victims. Heather Alter says this is her father, Steve Garrick, just days before he was shot and killed in his driveway near Indian School in Tramway six months ago. He was at the wrong time, but the right place. He was at his home and he was protecting my mother. And if he hadn't done that, my mom would be dead too. Police say Garrick confronted a group that broke into his house. Six teens are charged with Garrick's murder. But when one of them got out of jail two weeks ago, Garrick's family says no one bothered to let them know. If they're going to let people that are accused of murder be on the street, then part of the victim's advocate realm should have notified our family to let us know that, you know, we could sleep a little less tonight. Last month, a judge denied 15-year-old Andrew Hubler's request to lower his 100,000 cash or surety bond. Bernalillo County says Hubler posted that bond and was released the day before Thanksgiving. That's a slap in the face to my dad. My dad doesn't get to be home for Thanksgiving. He doesn't get to have Christmas. The juvenile court tells New 13 Hubler is supposed to go to class at Highland High School during the day and be on house arrest by 7 at night. Not a comforting thought, Alter says, given what Hubler's mom said on camera in July. At the age 15 years old, they don't have to be at your house. Linda Hubler told us then that she was sick of being blamed. God is my witness. You better believe it. Well, that's not my fault, okay? Garrick's family says they just don't want to be left in the dark when these teens are back on the street. I feel like I've been punished and sentenced to a system that is broken. We called the district attorney's office. They say victims advocates work very closely with families, but that their office was not notified when Hubler was released. Liz Amy Tree, KRQE News 13. Another one of the teens, 18-year-old Ryan Archibek, was released last month after a judge agreed to lower his bond from $250,000 cash only to $85,000 cash or surety.